Hello my Linians! This is Teacher Jason and today we are going to discuss the topic Folk Songs of the Lowlands of Luzon. This video tutorial is based from your learning activity sheet in Music 7, Quarter 1, Week 1. So bring out your learning activity sheet and turn your learner's module to pages 9 to 10. Our learning target for this session is describes the musical characteristics of representative music selections from the lowlands of the zone after listening. Before the lesson, let's have a warm-up question, and I have here a question for you to answer. True or false? Folk music is learned through hearing rather than reading. Timer starts now. What do you think is the answer? Very good. True. Let us talk about folk songs. Folk songs are songs written by the folk and are sung to accompany daily activities such as farming, fishing, and putting the baby to sleep. These are traditionally passed on orally, and most of the songs have Spanish and other Western influences. And when we say it is passed on orally or handed down orally, meaning that the music is not written down but taught by speaking. The people of Luzon created melodic chants and indigenous instruments based on the materials available where they live. The folk songs of the lowlands of Luzon performed in their native language such as Ilocano, Pangasinense, Kapampangan, Tagalog, Bicolano, and others. Let us now proceed to the characteristics of folk song. Number 1. Originally passed down orally to the family and to the other members of the community. Number 2. Song in their own dialect. Number 3. Composers and lyricists are usually unknown. Number 4. Mood can be sentimental, playful, and humorous. Number 5. Concepts are based on nature or people's work, tradition, and culture. Number six, short and simple. And number seven, either in double meter, triple meter, or quadruple meter. And here are some famous examples of Philippine folk songs from the lowlands of Luzon. Let's start with Ilocano folk songs. We have Pamulinawen. Naranyagabulan, Manang Biday, and among others. And for Kapampangan folk songs, we have Atin Kupong Sing Sing, Okaka Okaka, and I Mariang Malat. And for the Tagalog folk songs, we have Magtanim Ay Bibiro, Bahay Kubo, Leron Leron Sinta, Sitsiritsi, and Paro Parong Bukit. And for the Kulano folk song, we have Sarong Banggi. In order for you to analyze music, you should familiarize first with the elements of music such melody, rhythm, harmony, dynamics, form, timbre, and texture. These elements of music identify distinct characteristics in a music composition and for the music to acknowledge its parts, style, and content. In general terms, melody is the tune of music. It gives flow and direction in a certain composition, as well as certain tune of the melody identifies whether the pitch is high or low in terms of the frequency and or to the vibration of sounds. In analyzing the melody, there are two general modes that gives life to music. The first one is major mode, and the second one is the minor mode. So how could you say that the melody is in major mode or in minor mode? Listen carefully to the melody of sound. If the overall sound gives such a happy feeling or suggests festivity or cheerfulness, it is in the major mode. While if the music expresses sadness, loneliness, as well as it gives a creepy or scary sound, it is in the minor mode. Next is rhythm, the time element of music, and in general terms, it is the beat of music. Harmony, 
It is the vertical arrangement and simultaneous sound production of notes that blend into a chord. Harmony and texture sometimes interchange because of its nature and concept when it comes to the functions as the combination of simultaneously sounded musical notes to produce chords. Let us use the concept of texture in terms of harmony. Monophony consists of one melodic line. Examples such one plain voice singing a song or one instrument played by the instrumentalist such as guitar, piano, flute, and etc. And sometimes monophony considered a solo, solo vocal, and or solo instrument. Homophony Homophony consists of two melodic lines. Examples such voice and piano, voice and guitar, voice and another voice, soprano and alto, alto and tenor, etc. Sometimes homophony considered as duet because of the nature of two different sounds. Next is polyphony, consists of three or more melodic lines. Examples such ensembles, um, different instruments playing different melodies. Also, orchestra, choral group, mixed choirs, all boys choir, church based choir, and etc. Polyphony is sometimes interpreted as trio, quartet, and quintet or tutti, meaning all, such as an orchestra. All musicians are playing with their designated instruments altogether. Next element of music is dynamic. Um, element of music that refers to loudness and softness of sound. Dynamics suggest sometimes the emotion or feeling in the music by its volume. The music is said to be emotional whether it is loud because of anger or sometimes suggests festivity or cheerfulness or it is soft because of the expression of sadness or calm music. Sometimes a glad feeling as well depending on the overall music production. Yet, you will not judge only the music by its dynamics because at times, the overall music gives meaning by all of its musical elements. And there are three basic dynamics. One, loud. Second one is moderate loud or soft. And last one, third one is soft. And there are three basic dynamics. Loud, moderate, loud and or soft and soft. The next element is form, the overall structure of a musical composition. The next one is timbre, the quality of sound, which characterizes the sound between instruments as well as the nature of the voice. In terms of the voice, basically we have soprano, high female voice, alto, low female voice, tenor, high male voice, and bass, low male voice. And that is the concept of elements of music from musical analysis of music composition by Almighty Tabuen. So now, let's have some recap. What is folk song? Folk song is a song written by the folk and is sung to accompany daily activities such as farming, fishing, and putting the baby to sleep. And it is traditionally passed down orally. What are the characteristics of folk songs? The characteristics of folk songs are originally passed down orally to the family and to the other members of the community, sung in their own dialect. Composers and lyricists are usually unknown. Mood can be sentimental, playful, and humorous. Concepts are based on nature's or people's work, tradition, and culture. Short and simple, and either in double meter, triple meter, or quadruple meter. At this point, turn your activity sheet to enrichment part. Reminder, do not write anything on this activity sheet. Write your answer on a separate long band paper. For the enrichment activity, you are going to describe the characteristics of the folk songs Leron Leron Sinta and Atin Kukusing Si according to their musical elements and answer the following questions after listening. Your output will be graded according to this criteria. Grade it so you'll be guided accordingly on what to consider 
for you to get the highest rating in the activity. And for the wrap up activity, just answer the following questions. I hope you learned something today. If you have questions or clarifications regarding the topic we discussed, feel free to contact your subject teacher through text, call, or post your questions in your official Facebook group or page. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.